evening we are back in Disneyland Park for a reservation at Captain Jack's but first let's all take a moment to enjoy this princess cavalcade been to Captain Jack's before for a couple of reasons. One, it's one of the more expensive restaurants and we tend to do only one of those a trip. And the reason it's never been on our list is it's quite a niche menu if you're a fussy eater. There's a lot of seafood, there's a lot of Caribbean flavours. But this time we've always wanted to go in there because of the decor and the atmosphere. So we thought, you know what, we're going to do it. We're going to order something and if we don't like it, there's always chips down the road. So it's going to be a bit of an experience. I'm Captain Bonnet. Peter's my first mate and Mummy and Daddy are my crew. Here are be pirates! <laughs> there she goes! Shiver me timber! that we took a, an actual photo of the um, the menu at the front uh, at the front door because apparently the internet inside is a bit sketchy. We've just been put in the waiting area to sit and wait, but this will, I'd be happy staying here. This is gorgeous. So much detail. We've got lots of these oil paintings. We're just walking through going, wow, this is brilliant. I'm going to try and find time to walk around like between courses and see if I can show you some of the details because there's people sat in front of certain things. Um, but for now, just first impressions, 10 out of 10. We're having to get the torches out to read the menus because as much as the ambience is nice, it is very dark in here. Bonnie's using her pirate gun to shoot at the people in the boats going past on the ride. If you're unfamiliar with Captain Jack's, it's the restaurant that you see as you first go through Pirates of the Caribbean. So we can see the boats coming past us now. I know the light's quite poor, but you're about to see a boat full of passengers. So that's Pirates of the Caribbean ride, and our table is here. Captain Barbosa. Captain Jack Sparrow. I just love it when a venue is able to get the kind of outside inside look and where else can you eat with a full pirate galleon? Look what I've got. That, my friends, is a virgin colada. So it's a pina colada without the rum. And when you got that, I went, oh, what? What's that got? <laughs> Tomato tata, uh, vegetable tata, and it's Mickey shaped. Well, Isn't that super, Peter? Yeah. A 
tuna roulade and it's just like a tuna wrap in a little pit of bread, isn't it? Right, we'll see. Now I've got the spicy chicken. Oh, sorry, it's smoked chicken. And... And this is the quinoa, the quinoa salad. So underneath that layer of, this is the pickled vegetables, swirled pickled vegetables, you get this kind of shaped mound of the, the diced chicken. So that's um, smoked and it's a little bit paprika but it's quite, quite a dark taste. Um, but this is quite acidic because it's been pickled and that's quite light. So if you get a spoonful together, it's a really, really nice mix. How's the quinoa, Kat? Um, I've swapped the quinoa now <laughs> with broccoli, but it was absolutely delicious. It's got a satay nut um, sauce and then an avocado -y sauce, like guacamole. Very nice. It's very nice. Similar. It tastes very similar to quinoa. I don't think I've had it, it's really. <laughs> Okay, I'm done with it now, and it was delicious, but I have to say, those long curly pickled vegetables, not something you'd want to eat on a first date, it's really hard to look elegant eating that, and also because the light is very low, and there's a lot of stuff on your plate, you don't always know what you're putting in your mouth, but that was kind of nice, because you kept getting a mix of flavours, so every mouthful was very slightly different, and I might prefer not to know. Right, let's have a look at what we've got. I've got Mahi Mahi, which is a fish under there, in coconut sauce, and I think it's with bell peppers. Bonnie's got pan-fried chicken with rice. Hugh has got, have you got Caribbean chicken? Yes, ma'am. With rice, and so has Brookie. We've got tomato pasta over there. And remind us what you had, Kat. Vegetable curry. Vegetable curry. Yeah. Let's, let's talk about the mahi mahi dish, shall we? So, I've never had mahi mahi before. It's a fish, if you didn't know. I did have to look it up. Um, I've scraped some sauce off some to see what it tastes like. It's not a very fishy fish. It's a meaty fish. It's not quite a delicate flavour. It's interesting. It's, it tastes what it tastes like. I can't compare it to anything else. The problem here is it comes underneath this bed of this, the coconut and red pepper sauce and that's what I'm tasting really. I'm getting big spoonfuls of that and it's very sweet, very delicious. But the, the mahi mahi, to say that's the exotic element, just kind of seems like ballast underneath a bit. That was simply delicious, I've nothing else to say, I really got into that. How was your curry cat? Vegetarian curry, very very nice. Excellent. A bit sweet, not too spicy, delicious. Excellent. Hugh, how is the chicken? Banging, mate, banging. Because <laughs> he knows it's terrible at his job, so he covers himself up so he can't see it. And X marks the spot, my lad. I've just come up to the top level to look down on the rest of the restaurant. I don't know how much you can see with the lighting, but in the distance there, you've got the Pirates of the Caribbean boat rides going past. And then you've got layers and layers of this kind of like bamboo hut. And then beyond it is supposedly the night sky and we've got palm trees. Davy Jones. A galley above the entrance to the loo. How many restaurants can say that? The whole thing's meant to look like a smuggler's cabin where they've just built the cabin out of things that have washed up on shore or bits of old shipwrecks. So, what you've got here is a wall made out of ship's paddles. Now I mentioned I loved the outdoors indoors and the pinnacle of that has to be if you can get a waterfall inside a restaurant and that runs straight into the ride itself. Now up there in theory is the living quarters of the smugglers and the pirates. You can 
see all the palm trees going right up to the black night sky oh god I love this restaurant so Bonnie's got chocolate ice cream and I'll be honest I have taken Peter's chocolate ice cream so that he can have my rice pudding and then it's rice puddings all round except for Brookie. Brookie who has got shortbread and stewed pineapple is it? Well it's, uh, it's different. Yeah. It is different. It tastes like what it is. Cold rice pudding with some mango puree. What are your overall thoughts Kat? Really enjoyed it here. Lovely ambiance. Delicious food. Different. Different to the rest of the stuff kind of on offer. Yep. To watch people on the ride going by it's just winner. I could not agree more. Bye guys. Bye. Bye. We're the last ones out of the restaurant. And it's only six o'clock. You are not Captain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're done with our dinner at Captain Jack's and I cannot speak highly enough of it. Um, food, excellent. Atmosphere, beyond excellent. Service was was good. We had some good interactions. Uh, they didn't do anything to push it up and beyond for me, but it was really it was good service. My only criticism would be it if you are a fussy, fussy eater, there's not that much variety. But we're both fussy eaters, and we did manage to find food we liked. So there's that. Now we're going to get on and have a bit of a pirate-themed evening. Now we're going to have another go on Pirates of the Caribbean the ride, and then we might explore Adventure Isle a bit. to look back at where we were just sat having seen from different angles because we've spotted different things in kind of the scenery and the ride looking at it from that angle that I've never seen before so you get a fresh pair of eyes when you get a fresh angle we got rows one and two we got rows one and two oh, oh, down my back <laughs> Like the numpty I am, I dropped my sunglasses inside and one of the lenses popped out. Hugh's just gone to see if he could get it. Hugh, what happened? Uh, I went in, I looked around and um, we couldn't find anything. So we've just said goodbye to three of our shipmates because Peter needs an earlier bedtime but we're going to stay in the park a little bit longer. So... Captain has not my person. No. Have we've just left him on a desert island, haven't we? So, I think we should do something pirate themed. So, we could do Adventure Isle, we could do the tree house, we could go down to the pirate playground, or we could do Peter Pan because that's got pirates in it. What's your fancy? Playground. Pirate playground it is. Now, can you think of a cooler place for a kid's playground than in sight of a full sized pirate galleon? I know, I know what parents are like when it comes to playgrounds, like, oh, all these wonderful things we could be doing right now, but all you want to do is go on the slides. But the thing is, it is invaluable to just tire them out. And this is, it's just so beautifully themed and immersive. And if the parents are going to linger around anywhere, this is, I couldn't imagine a nicer place to stand and look around. Because the theming, the foliage, the music, Brilliant. What every pirate's best at exploring. You want me to lead? Inside School Rock, you've got tunnel after tunnel after tunnel, and they do get very dark, and it's easy to get lost. But it's a great place for playing pirates. And if you get deep enough down, you might even see an old friend. Oh, 
So we're back inside again. Make sure you've got your weapon ready. I think we've just found a hidden Mickey in the rockwork. What do you think? Is that a valid hidden Mickey? We made it to the top and now we've got the suspension bridge to finish off with. It is a little bit wobbly, but it's got a great view. So we're on top of the far side of the suspension bridge now and this is the pirate playground Bonnie was on. That's your big galley and that skull rock that you can see the back of. These are the caves we've just been exploring. And that's the suspension bridge. But what we only found out a couple of visits ago is there's more caves on this side. So let's go seek them out. And here they are. La Vente de la Terre. I know a lot of people, and one of them being me, when they plan a Disney trip, they like to have like theme days. So today's gonna be our princess day. Today we're all gonna be cowboys. Being pirates or having a pirate day is a really good theme for a Disneyland Paris day because there's so much to do. Peter Pan has got pirates, but then you've got all of Adventureland is basically themed for it. It's a great thing if you've got a child who likes to role play you also managed to incorporate the playground in there, but finishing off at Captain Jack's is mwah. Right, I'm gonna finish this vlog here because we're gonna go and try and mop up as many rides as we can before the end of the evening. So, thank you very much. We'll be back with more vlogs tomorrow. Bye-bye. If you're interested in Disneyland Paris, you can check out our weekly podcast, The Disneyland Paris Show, here. If you're interested in Disneyland Paris vlogs, you can check out the playlist here. And for all our other content, including DVC, Disney Cruise Line, Disney World, you can check and subscribe up here. Thanks for watching. Bye.